Drinking buddies, when you're a full-time whiskey madman like me, sometimes experiments fall through the cracks. Let's look at a few of those experiments today to see how they turned out. I'm your drinking buddy. It's your drinking buddy from the future. You're not going to want to click away from this video because the last thing in this class, this one right here, you're not going to want to miss it. It involves Everclear and coffee beans and an experiment I made in 2020. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that. But before we get started, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because I can keep making more and more videos if the algorithm knows you like my videos and you're subscribed. Let's get right in. All right, drinking buddies. I think we'll start with the least crazy of my three experiments here first. And this is just simply something in a mason jar that I forgot about and I didn't label. So this one's not really as much of an experiment as let's see if I can figure out what the heck I did here. What is this? It smells like bourbon. A little bit of grain, some vanilla, cinnamon. I thought it might have been a new loop pick that um, Marco had given me, but that's actually still there and it's labeled. But I get blue raspberry on here, and that's something that I picked up off of it, off of that new loop, which is not something I normally get off of bourbon. Well, I'm going to be no closer to figuring out what this is because I literally have no idea. Uh, but it's it's bourbon vanilla, blue raspberry, kind of like, like an icy. A um, little bit of dust, and I think maybe that it's possible this is starting to go. Um, it's not exactly milky in color, but the dusty quality to it is leading me to believe maybe it's been sitting in there for a long time. I'm pretty impressed that it didn't oxidize, so... That's actually kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I have no idea what this is, unless it's, you know, melted blue slushy mixed with bourbon, which it certainly doesn't look like. A while back, um, I made a reverse prudent pappy, which was two parts larceny barrel proof to one part regular makers. And uh, the results came back basically saying that I made, uh, Marco and I both kind of agreed that I made Prudent Old Fitzgerald rather than Prudent Pappy because the Larceny flavors really took over and Larceny and Old Fitz are made by the same distillery. Well, what? why is this an experiment? Well, I accidentally left the charred piece of oak barrel in there and it's been a long time. Kind of forgot about this. So let's try it out and don't worry, stay tuned because the last one is really crazy. It involves coffee and Everclear and a bunch of craziness. It certainly smells nice. This one might need a few minutes to open up. I'm going to let this open up for a minute, so we'll come back to this. There's some really nice cinnamon coming off of here, as well as a candy bar notes like nougat and dark chocolate. That has actually got tremendous mouthfeel. Definitely know that I'm drinking a Jim Beam product. I'm sorry. I definitely know that I'm drinking a Heaven Hill product because it's peanuts for days. Yeah, the oak has not taken over here. The thing about these little spirals is they say that they have absorbed all of their flavors in about two weeks. So if you go beyond that, it's probably not doing much. I mean, it's going to do a little bit over time, but probably not as much as those initial two weeks have done. And uh, it's not ruined. I, I think it might even be better than before. So that's actually pretty cool. I will call that experiment a success. All right. Now, this last one frightens me a little bit because this is an experiment I made so long ago, I don't even remember when. I think it was in 2020. Uh, this is Klingon blood wine. Um, it is so dark it has stained the mason jar. Uh, what is Klingon blood wine? Well, it's supposed to be a spirit that they, the Klingons drink. It's a warrior's drink. And uh, the idea behind it is that it is twice as strong as whiskey. So I, I remember what I put in here. It's about two parts Everclear to one part barrel proof whiskey to one part uh, port wine because I needed some, some wine flavors. I needed some 
some darker, uh, some darker fruit flavors in there. Um, put a bunch of raisins in to complement that. I put a bunch of coffee beans in since this is supposed to be like a warrior's drink. And then I put some herbs and spices in here. So there was a cinnamon stick. There was a couple sprigs of rosemary. I also added in some pectin, which is made from fruit and it should uh, help thicken it up a little bit, give it more of a, a thicker viscosity. Um, but yeah, I made it and forgot about it and I never highlighted it on the channel. So let's drink some Klingon blood wine if I can get it open. If I die, you know why. It's because I drank something I made in 2020 out of Everclear and coffee beans. Really cool color to it. That's actually a really interesting, really cool nose. It smells like uh, like the coffee is subtle. I'm more picking up like the spices, like the cinnamon and the the rosemary off the nose, botanicals, like. It almost smells like I'm drinking like gin and juice, like you mixed like gin with juice. It does not smell strong. And I believe I calculated the proof of this at over a hundred and uh, over 140. Well, down the hatch, hopefully I don't die. Well, I also added brown sugar to it. So there's some brown sugar in there. Yeah, that is, that is really interesting. Um, herbal, uh, a lot of wine notes going on. A subtle hint of bourbon coming through with some vanilla. Uh, a lot of cinnamon, a lot of coffee, uh, cherry. Um, the viscosity is really nice. I wanted it to be thicker. And I think that pectin helped with that. So if you're a Star Trek fan and you need to make some Klingon blood wine at home, two parts Everclear, one part Braille Proof Bourbon, one part Port Wine, some Rosemary Sprigs, coffee beans, raisins, Rosemary, did I say that already? Cinnamon sticks. There's a lot that went in this. Probably don't make it at home. But it is pretty darn good though. That's wild. That's wild. I can't believe A, that it didn't go bad and B, that it tastes this good. Drinking Buddies, I really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next one.